everybody. Happy Tuesday to you. I know it's been um, it's been a while since I've been on. I haven't even been checking videos, let alone making a video. I just haven't felt like it. And um, I know how, how weird is that? Usually I watch videos every single day. Um, but I just, the past couple of days, just didn't feel like it. I'm so wrapped up in Pogo.com. It's not even funny and Facebook and Twitter. So I just took a little YouTube break, but I'm back. And um, the weather, I think, is a big part of it because it has been miserable. And actually, I can't say that because I like it when it rains. I don't like to go out in it, but that's good sleeping weather. Um, except for last night, or this morning, I should say, um, I slept with my window open. I know, I know, we've got like torrential storms, tons of rain and wind right now. But I like to sleep with the window open. And um, so I woke up about 4.30 this morning because my vertical blinds were, um, they were going crazy. And so they are making a lot of noise and it woke me up. And do you think I turned off or closed my window? No, I still kept it open. It's still open now. Um, it looks as if the rain has kind of tapered off. and. Um, it was kind of crazy though because when I woke up I couldn't of course go back to sleep and um, I was noticing I've got a bunch of redwoods right out in front and it takes a lot to get those things to sway in the wind <laughs> so to give you an idea how bad the wind was it was kind of freaky to watch that um, when I'm watching these big big trees just swaying around like crazy and uh, I think part of the reason why I woke up is I could hear branches snapping. Um, so, but I haven't gone out to see just how bad it is, you know, in town, because um, it's been it's been pretty amazing. I'm sure everybody's heard about the the rainstorms that have hit California this week, and it's it's just one storm after another after another, and it seems like it tapers off in the afternoon and then it starts again throughout the evening, which I don't mind because, like I said, that's good sleeping weather, right? So anyway, I'm kind of tired, but I, I figured, well, I'm not really falling asleep, so I might as well get up, take a shower, get dressed, and do things. Mm -hmm. And you guys were the first people I thought of. Uh, but um, yeah, so I thought, well, I'll do my video, and then, because um, I haven't had much going on, um, but I haven't been doing anything either, because I'm just lazy this week. And um, so I have to go clean my kitchen, and I should be doing laundry, but I am not taking my laundry out and downstairs to the laundry room in this weather. It's not happening. Um, thank God I've got four closets full of clothes, <laughs> so I'm not exactly hurting it, except for I did run out of socks, and when it's cold like this, I'd like to have my it stays warm, so I've just had them in my little UGG slippers, and uh, anyway, but yes, I've got to do that stuff, and like I said, I haven't been doing anything, I haven't gone out because the weather's been so crap, and um, Friday night, my guy went out, um, and he went to lunch with uh, one of his clients, I think I told you guys that, and, and apparently he was a pretty good boy on Friday night, I'll give him some small props for that and then um, on Saturday he came over and I know I told you guys that New Year's Eve um, I had made pork chops and we had you know cocktail shrimp and that kind of stuff and so I still had some of the leftover you know pick and peel well that no, was already peeled but the cocktail shrimp that I stuck in the freezer and um, he had also bought two lobster tails that we ended up not eating because we already had so much food um, to tackle. So I stuck those in the freezer. Well, Saturday he came over and he brought, um, well, I took out the lobster, I took out the shrimp, and he brought, um, I think, like a pound, pound and a half of snow crab legs. And he bought some cod and because they didn't have any halibut. And for you East Coasters, halibut is the equivalent of flounder. Um, I prefer flounder. It's got a more buttery texture, and it just it tastes a little bit better to me than halibut. But they're basically the same kind of fish. Um, and so he got caught. It, it also being a mild fish, 
And then he got, I think it was, I want to say it was Zatarain's brand, crab boil. And you know I have this saying, if I can't get it past my nose, it is not going in my mouth. Well, I really wasn't a fan of the way that the crab boil smelled. And, which was weird, because I also made, staying in the spirit of making a Cajun meal, I made red rice and, yeah, I can talk, red beans and rice, which has its own odor, which is a strong odor. I don't mind that, though, and I love red beans and rice. Um, but, yeah, so he made that, and, you know, God bless him, he loved it. Um, but he was, like, feeding me bits and pieces of the cod and bits and pieces of the lobster that he was popping in my mouth, and um, I, I just, I didn't like it. And I feel bad because he never cooks, and this was like his thing. And so I feel bad. And we'll have to do a do-over, but something we can both agree on. Um, but anyway, I, that was Saturday, and I'm so awful. I told you, I'm so lazy this week that, you know, I have like an, an eight-quart big, you know, big pot that I cook my seafood in, and it's good for pasta and that kind of stuff, too. Um, but it's still sitting in my sink. <laughs> I haven't washed it yet. And you know that thing can't fit in the dishwasher. So left and right have got to do their job today and uh, clean that up. And we've got tons of the seafood left over. I don't know what we're going to do with it because I know I'm not going to use it in anything else. I'm not going to make dips or anything like that because the craft seasoning is so strong um, I, that I can't get past it. So... Maybe I can heat it up and he'll eat it or something, but I, I feel horrible. I think a lot of it's going to go to waste. And um, I'm tempted to go give it to my daughter and tell her to go up on the levee and feed the feral cats some good seafood. <laughs> He'd kick my butt if I did that. Anyway, but yeah, so I've got that going on, you know. Like, I always have so much going on. But no, i got to go clean my kitchen and upload my video, and uh, I'll be back on. I'm, I've got to go on and watch videos, because it's been, it's been since last week. I know I didn't go on at all this weekend, um, so I think my last video was Friday. I'm not quite sure, but anyway, so that's about it. I'm going to go motivate myself to do the kitchen, bleh, and, um, and that's about it. So you guys take care, and um, if you guys had the day off yesterday, I hope you enjoyed it. Or if you went to any of the, the, the um, holiday festivities, I hope you enjoyed it. And, um, yeah, that's all I got for now. So you guys take care, and I'll see you later. Bye.